how to upload Google conversion tracking code to your website using Google Tag Manager. That's what I'm going to show you in this particular video. And make sure you stay through to the end of the video because at the end I'm going to show you how you can check if your, ta if your event code is installed correctly. All right. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's go dive in. So here I am in a live Google ad account and I'm going to assume you have already created the conversion event inside your Google ad account. So when we go to tools and settings under measurement and conversions, this will take you to the conversion tracking section of your account. And most likely you might have set up more than one type of conversion event. Okay. But I'm going to walk you through how to get the conversion event code onto your website using Google tag manager. Okay. So here is my conversion event for people who purchase my retargeting challenge. Okay, I scroll down here, tag setup, and I want to get the tag setup instructions for Google Tag Manager. Okay, scroll down here, and the this element and this element are going to be what I need in order to set up um, or get that code installed. All right, so a common mistake people make is they install conversion tracking code on their landing page. So for example, this is my challenge landing page for people who buy the challenge. I don't put conversion tracking code on here. I put it on the success page of when somebody has actually completed the purchase. Okay. So don't fall for that common mistake. Okay. So this is the conversion ID and label that I'm going to need. And I go to my Google Tag Manager account and it looks like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new tag and I need to fill in the details here. So I've got to give my tag a name. So I'm going to call it something that is descriptive for me. So I'm going to call it Google Ads Conversion and I'm going to call it Purchase Challenge. So I know which specific conversion event it is. I click on tag configuration and this brings up all the different types of tags that I can create. Fortunately, Google Tag Manager is a Google product, so it talks really nicely with other Google products. So we click Google as conversion tracking. Okay. And you can see here that the conversion linker tag has already been found in my container. That's because I've set it up previously. So if I just jump in real quick um, to a different tag manager account that has doesn't have this set up because most likely you have not got this set up. So if I go to a different tag manager account, click on new tag. And I'm just going to follow the same process because most likely you might be seeing this. How to get the green tick like me, which you need, you click create. And we're just going to call it conversion linker. I click save. That's how easy it is. And then now I've got that green tick. It's been created in my container. Okay. So you might need to do that step if you're here, but if you've got the green tick, then obviously you do not. So we need this conversion ID and conversion label. So we jump back into our Google ad account, copy this, paste it in here, get the other conversion label, paste that in there. Okay. And then the last step, is we need to define the trigger that's telling tag manager, when do I want this conversion tracking code to fire? Okay. So, uh, we've got a, I've got a predefined a whole bunch of triggers here. Most likely you might not have many in yours. And as I mentioned, you need to define the success page for your trigger. So I actually already have it created, but if I show you how I did it, I click on this plus button. Okay. And give it a name. So I'm going to call it purchase challenge. Thank you page. Okay. You can call it whatever you like. And we want it to fire for a page view. And if we scroll down here where the page URL contains slash retargeting dash, whoopsie dash. Thank you. And you would type in whatever is your success page the page that somebody lands on once they've done what you want them to do. Okay. And then you click save. I'm not going to do that because I've already got it. So I'm going to discard that change. And here is the trigger that I had um, defined previously, but uh, um, what I just showed you to do. Okay. So uh, yeah, we want to make sure that it only fires on that page and then we click save. Now, 
this code is still not yet up on our website. We've created the tag and to check first before we upload it that we've uploaded it, that we've created it correctly, we click preview and we go into debug mode. And this is going to bring up a new window where it's going to connect to my website. So you put in your website here. I've already got it by default. I click connect. It's now connecting to my website and it's going to my homepage by default. And just to show you here, if we go to this uh, debug mode console, you can see that uh, we don't have conversion tracking code as a tag that's fired because we're on the home page. OK, so that's right. We don't want that. If I go to my thank you page, which is um, retargeting dash thank you here. That's my success page. You will see that we have got Google Ads conversion purchase challenge as our success page tag that has been fired. So we have done this correctly. OK, so we're happy with that. Close this, close this. And um, yeah, so then what we need to do is we need to upload our newly created tag to our website. Click on submit. You can give this uh, version a name so you know in your history what you've done and then you click publish. OK, if you're not sure if it's uploaded correctly, you can easily go to here. Retargeting dash think dash you is my success page. And I've got a nice little tag assistant that I can enable and then refresh this. Just give it a sec. And I can see I've got my Google Ads conversion tracking code here with my nice little green smiley face. So that's how you can check that you've done it correctly. So there you have it. If you found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up icon and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Thanks for watching.